to talk about um, Kent State. I mean, this is the police officers killing the kids. This isn't uh, the, the same age people, National Guard. This is local fat old cops murdering children, killing them, killing fucking kids. College students, someone who's trying to better his life so, you know, he can help society and, and do something with himself, right? So, this is America. This, is a, this happens day in and day out. Boone County's killing uh, uh, kids. Um, here's a cop about to kill a dog, right? They always killing dogs. They abuse their wives. They actually have... There are more problems with police officers, amongst police officers, in terms of violence and drug abuse than there are in the general population, if that says anything. Here's a guy who... Um, a police officer who zip-tied, tortured, and beat his daughter daily. And he doesn't want to stay in jail, right? So this is April 24th, 2014, five days ago. Beat the shit out of his daughter every fucking day, right? Good fucking man there. Yeah, we're going to defend child abuse, and now we got child abusers who's got guns. No, you can beat the shit out of his daughter, you know? You fucking trust a fucking man like that? Beats his own fucking kid? Motherfucker don't give a shit about his own fucking kind, his own kin. He doesn't care about his own legacy. He ain't making his daughter strong by beating the fuck out of her. making her weak and stupid. And blaming his fucking problems in life on her. He's taking it out on her. That's what this is about. This is where you want to talk about fascism and oppression. Here's where it starts with people like Jeremy Yachich. There's a fat fucking piece of shit. He likes fucking pointing that gun at motherfucker. Ooh, I hate when they do that. Um, when you put... Cameras on the police officers, big shock, the uh, crime rates, the assaults, and the police brutality that they do, they drop. It drops. The complaint, it drops. So, when, the, and it's good. You, if you are a good person, you'd want a camera there at any and every situation to say, well, this thing happened and then this thing didn't happen. You know, every police officer should have a camera on them, either on their lapel or like this guy on his sunglasses. Every one of them. And like I said, you're a good police officer. If something bad happens, if somebody pulls a gun on you, you got video evidence of it. If they don't, then it's just words, your word versus a dead man's. And a lot of times, you know, go, people go along with what the, the cop says. But um, with video, you know, it's, you know, if somebody tries to kill you, then if you have video of it, then you're justified. Um, you know, you're justified anyways, right? Because you got the truth on your side. But if you, in a court of law, you have to be able to prove what had happened. Then you can't just say, hey, trust me, guy. Hey, trust me, man. Here's a cop. He runs into a fucking SUV and then arrests the owner to cover up what he did. So here's a piece of shit. Don't know how to, a non-driving piece of shit, right? NYPD wrecks into a parked vehicle and then arrests the guy who owns the SUV in order to cover up his own crime. That's how a cop is, you know. Even even if, you know, I, I don't... This guy wasn't a, like an, even an innocent bystander. He wasn't even like witnessing anything that happened. He just acci you know, accidentally came across the wrong... He was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Came across some fucking psycho piece of shit. Americans now are uh, killed by cops. Outnumber those who were killed in the Iraq war. It's it's bigger war in America than it is um, for soldiers in Iraq. Two plainclothes police officers shoot pizza delivery man. Oh my God, it's a pizza delivery man. I gotta shoot him. You know this this is sick. How many times is this shit gotta be fucking reported? How many times are we gonna see this shit before we the people stand up? In any place, in any town, in any municipality, we can stand up to the powers that be in solidarity. <coughs> If we're organized, you know, if we got net <coughs> networks and unions and <sighs> democratic structures. So here's a Cordish, right? Here's the main Cordish CEO. Here's a piece of shit from Valley High School. Nazi psycho piece of shit. She is a psychopath. Um, here's a, a lie about, you know, from my childhood. The lie is that the uh, coyote can never catch a roadrunner, but in fact the roadrunner is half the speed of a coyote. Maybe that's why the thing is fun, because, you know, the roadrunner like, just flies real fast. But it's also got wings. I mean, can, a, can the roadrunner actually fly? So maybe that's why they can get away from him. Man, a coyote can run twice as fast. <laughs> uh. There's um, 
right here, yet another police officer, more police brutality. Just cops suck. Cops suck everywhere you go. I mean, it's Officer George Bermudez has been placed on paid leave after he was caught on camera tripping and pushing students at a girls' soccer game in Georgetown, Texas. So there he is, just tripping. And everybody and everybody, you know, he's like, hey, everybody stay off the field and stuff. But they all came on the field and he's like, how dare you? And so instead of, like, tackling everybody, he just starts tripping people, right? Because use of force is allowed. But they actually, they um, they, they suspended him. So this is a, a good story because sometimes you see justice. Daryl Link in his trusty truck. He's a, looks like he's a 70s flower child. <laughs> Um, top five reasons why people are suspended in JCPS, the Louisville schools. The top five reasons, let's see, the main reason is fighting, right? They uh, can put their hands on your kids, but the kids can't put their hands on them or other kids. Um, disruptive behavior, failure to obey, failure to obey, compliance, right? Harassment, intimidation. Drug, alcohol, possession, profanity. I Fighting, I can understand. I don't like it when you are forced to be beat up if you don't want to go, you know, to get suspended. If you're in a fight, both people get suspended. That's some bullshit. That's absolute bullshit. Um, the uh, fighting, you know, I can understand if they started the fight, but if they're the victim of the fight, if they did not start it and just merely defended themselves, they should not, you know. In fact, there's this one... Bully that beat the shit out. There's a kid, a big kid actually, but beat the shit out of this skinny kid. Just body slammed the hell out of him. He did what was right. He was getting picked on, and he stopped the guy from picking on him. But he got suspended, which is some bullshit. So I don't mind them. Those who start the fight getting suspended if something happened, but uh, failure to obey. So basically, right here, you know, everybody has to be slaves. And if you're going to school in Louisville, you got to be slaves to these white teachers, the black kids, white girls. Black boys, black girls all have to listen to their white female massa in the class. Here's a cool note for a mother, right? This guy, this kid is funny. He says, I love that you're my mother. If I did not have you as a mom, I would punch. If I had a different mom, I'd punch her in the face and then I'd go find you, right? Aww. <laughs> it's, it's cute and old psychotic and violent manner. <laughs> How dare you? You're not my mother. I'm going to go find my real mother. I know it's her. <laughs> so, carrying on. Greg Lichty just always just writing manifestos after manifestos. He showed up to the debate. debate. Allison Lundergan Grimes did not. She goes to the Derby because she supports big, rich, white supremacists who uh, run Kentucky and King Cole and the corporations, trust fund managers and the bankers. That's why she'll go to the Derby to wear a big old hat, pay a thousand dollars for you know one shot of whiskey or some crap whiskey, right? Which is actually, I think, Woodland Reserve. Um, aren't they the race? Racist? Didn't they like wouldn't let the uh, Will Green perform? Or no, that was a different one. Okay, so, but anyways, Greg Lichty, he's running for the Democratic primary. The election is in 17 days, and he's saying, "I'm witnessing a tragedy unfold before my eyes." This is to the Democrats. It's going to be a tragedy for Kentucky voters and for the nation as a whole. For the want of an appropriate apology to Ed Marksbury last year, we're headed to a three-way race in the fall if Allison Lundergan Grimes wins the primary. Um, somebody recently released a poll of 1359 Kentucky registered voters that had Ed Marksbury polling at 9% in the same matchup. Mitch was seven points ahead of Allison. That's noteworthy because Ed Marksbury will be able to prevent Allison Lundergan Grimes from being elected unless Allison Lundergan Grimes picks up some progressive stances and some progressive issues on policies. She's running against a fucking dinosaur, a fucking fossil. This piece of shit is just, you know, he's washed up, he's ugly, he's disgusting, he's got no good ideas, he doesn't have any good ideas for the last 30 years, he has no good ideas for the next 30, he has no policy, nothing to brag about, he has no personality. All she has to do is show a little smidge in her personality, just a little bit. She's a woman, my God, she's brimming with personality. Just let that personality shine. So, yeah, it's going to get Ralph Nader. Uh, Allison Lundergan Grimes is going to get Ralph Nader if she doesn't actually start taking progressive issues. She was in favor of the Keystone Pipeline, even though it got destroyed. So, bad issue that she took on there. She didn't have to make a, a statement on the thing, but she allowed Mitch McConnell to bully her. 
Um, so it says if you support Allison Lundergan Grimes, the letter continues. If you support Allison Lundergan Grimes and want her to have a reasonable chance of beating Mitch in the fall, then you have to call, face, and email the Democratic Party and press them, really make them reconcile, make peace with Ed Marksbury. It's going to take a public apology for the party not following its own bylaws and using its resources to support a chosen candidate before the primary. Please act quickly. Time is of the essence. This needs to be done before the primary. And yes, Marksbury tweeted right before the debate he will not run as an independent if I win the primary. So get the Democratic Party establishment to act or... Allison Lundergan Grimes will lose. And that's exactly right. He's absolutely right about that. The um, uh, Ed Marksberry, they will ha hate Ed Marksberry. I don't know if he's going to have the fucking, you know, the backbone and the spine to be able to take him to task and go all the way. He should do it. He'll be memorized in Kentucky for the rest um, of our lives, you know. We'll, we'll be stuck with Mitch McConnell again for another six years, but we'll see the effects of something like that. And instead of running a fucking moderate, you know, we should run somebody that actually has some beliefs, as like a Bernie Sanders or Elizabeth Warren, um, a Ralph Nader, a Cynthia McKinney, somebody that actually has beliefs and has a moral code and they stand for something. The, Allison Lundergan Grimes doesn't stand for jack shit. She doesn't stand for anything. She, um, she stands for women's rights and um, um, minimum wage, but she only stands up for the issues that are popular. If it's not popular, she won't tell anybody what she feels about it. Yeah, Obamacare, I believe she is, agrees with it, but since it's not a popular issue, she's not going to mention the president, she's not going to mention this overhaul of the health care plan, even though it's going to be a success. Mitch McConnell heads his bets, and he's going to lose. He's going to lose this fight. Um, my girlfriend asked me last night while I carried my gun around the house, what am I afraid of? And I looked her straight in the eye and I said, the motherfucking Decepticons. She laughed. I laughed. The toaster laughed. I shot the toaster. It was a good time. Here's a fucking, just low-life fucking piece of shit, right? This is, um... Uh, I don't know. He lives on 32nd and Woodland Avenue. He was friends of fucking the devil next door. Best fucking friends and shit, right? She's a fucking badass when it comes to being shitty to me, but she can't say shit to that mother... Oh! 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 Nasty. Derek Bonds is that fucker's name. Derek Bonds. I don't, I don't think that's Derek Bonds. It might be, but, you know, this fucking piece of shit, he's fat, overweight... Got no ambitions, you know, smokes weed, he's fat, fucking disgusting. Just look at his, you know, it looks like he can't even fucking wake up. Why, like, wake up, fat motherfucker. Look at his fucking fat fucking stomach. Fat fucking piece of shit. And he's like, look, I got, I got gold, I'm rich, man. Look at all my money. I got so much money, yeah. And he don't work, he don't do shit, just fucking, he might be a gangbanger, but he lives in his daddy's house. He was crying to me, he goes, no, I live with the cockroaches and daddy makes me sleep on the floor. And <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Elizabeth Rogers is a fucking Nazi piece of shit. This fucking loser is the worst human being that's ever fucking walked on the face of the fucking planet. She is a she defends white supremacists. She thinks that the all black kids should be molested and oppressed. She believes in 100% compliance to all white women. She believes all white women should rule the education field and then everybody should bow down to their authority even if they have no skills or talents. They have no expertise in the field. You're just supposed to listen to somebody who's bigger and older in a position of authority just because. Just because. For no apparent reason whatsoever. They have absolutely no respect for the students. They expect 100% compliance, but if you was to tell them to do something, you know, they, they trust people with freedom, but they don't trust people, or they trust people with power, but they don't trust people with freedom. How fucked up is that? That is so incredible. So, whereas I'll actually liberate people and tell them to be the best that they can be, this piece of shit here tell you to shut the fuck up and sit down just to make you uh, realize that this society is a fascist fucking totalitarian society. You're the fucking bitch-ass slave. So get on your fucking knees, you bitch-ass slave. Elizabeth Rogers fucking rules this town. Spalding University is an incubator of uh, pedophiles and oppressor molesters. That's what Spalding University is teaching everybody. You want to know why this mother Motherfucker don't go to school. Why the fuck is he gonna listen to a fucking Nazi? So he stays out all fucking day long and just you know robs motherfuckers and steals from people and just lives on fucking welfare and just is a just a fat tool. Can't even fucking. He's not even opening his eyes. He don't even want to you know see his own life. He is so embarrassed of himself and who he is. He don't even want to stay keep his eyes open in order to see his fucking shit life. He's a shit, shitty fucking person. Got an SUV. You know, looks like he got money. Looks like he's doing okay. But you robbing motherfuckers? 
bitch. Yeah, and you so fucking fat. Oh my god, I'd love to beat the fuck out. If I had a chance, I would beat the shit out of this guy. If I ever see this motherfucker, um, he's got an ass kicking coming towards him. He stole a thousand to three thousand um, dollars. And um, and Spawn University actually fucking stole even more. So they deserve a bigger ass kicking than what he fucking deserves. And, you know, I guess, I don't know. I said that I was going to fucking do it. I don't know if I'll fucking do it or not. Um, he definitely has it coming, you know. He definitely has it fucking coming, that's for 